Can I start? Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Laura Fry. I have my master's in nutrition and a decade of experience with people with special health needs. My partner is Amy Branham. She has years experience in allergy-free baking. Together, we created Allergy-Free Tasty Bake Shop, baking cookies and cakes, <coughs> which have no gluten, no casein, no soy, no eggs, no peanuts, no tree nuts. If you can bake within those parameters, come see me. I want your recipe. <laughs> Why Allergy-Free Tasty Bake Shop? I polled the Rockford families of autism and ADHD and said, when you go online to order your product, because that's how we bake shop and how we plan to market, what terminology do you use? And inevitably, I heard the words allergy-free. This is just not our name. It's a marketing tool. So why did I contact the autism and ADHD families? Extensive research, research has shown that majority of these populations have food sensitivities and food allergies, mainly to these six ingredients. It affects them through mood swings, social withdrawal, physical sickness, and other issues. How many people am I talking about? One in every 150 children born this year will be diagnosed with autism. One in every 10 children in our schools has already been diagnosed with ADHD. These are pretty staggering numbers. Who's our competition? To date, Enjoy Life is the only company I know of that leaves out all six of these ingredients. And there's room for more than one company to fulfill the needs of this community. We've also worked to make our baked goods very, very nutritious. We also have a cake, and they don't. Our other competition is family members who have time to bake within these parameters. These are three cookbooks here. There are hundreds available. This community is used to taking care of itself. And not everybody has that kind of time. Who's on our team? Twelve days ago, I received a phone call in which I was told Mr. Apple, the president and CEO of Consolidated Biscuit Company, is willing to sell us the ingredients we need for our company at cost. Why? Because he has a grandson who is a special health needs child, and he gets how important this is. I'm sorry, I don't have any marketing research to share with you that shows price points and profit margin, one minute. but all of that went out the window with this one phone call. In 2004, there were a handful of pre-made goods for celiac disease. It's now a $3.5 billion industry. Somebody got it, everybody jumped on the bandwagon. I need everybody to take a minute, pretend you're seven, three-year-old child. You're at a birthday party, but you can't have that cake, and you can't have those cookies because of how it'll affect you. And your mom and your dad didn't have time to bake for you. Think how that feels. I need you to take it a step further. Pretend you're that child's parent. Now how do you feel? We have the ability to take care of this community. We can make a profit doing it. I'm sorry, I don't play the Monica. I apologize if I haven't been entertaining, but at the very least, I hope I've educated you. because you can't use eggs. So most breads have egg in them. Well, some do. I worked for a bread company for a while. Um, we haven't tried to do breads. I certainly know that there's pizza crust available that's, that's wheat-free for celiac disease, um, but I don't know if we're going into that department yet. I mean, this is a handful right here, and I'm really excited about what we've been able to create. My wife has a problem with gluten, and baked goods that have sugar can hide the effect. Exactly. Right. And you'll find that most of them have really high in sugar in order to, to cover for that. And as a nutritionist, I've worked very hard with Amy to really get the nutritional level correct on these goods. Correct. Well, okay. Good point. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Where are you doing the baking? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, everything changed today. In the midst of all these people and all of this great energy, I suddenly thought, you know, I think I need to bring this full circle. And I'm going to contact um, the Barbara Olson Center of Hope and see if they have a kitchen we can use to bake out of and use their autistic and ADHD people as the rest of their special health needs community to do the baking. I'll talk to you afterwards, too. I have another okay. idea for you. All right. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Your retail shop is where? We don't have a retail shop. It will be, it will be online for the okay. main part. We've already talked to uh, Choices Market here. Woodman's Market have both agreed to carry our product. and. Um, Sunrise Cafe has three restaurants and they'd like to carry your product. And that alone, I think, is, is huge because that allows people with these children um, and family members to go out to eat in our, in our community. Thank you, Laura. Okay. Thank you all.